Hobbit school. You're probably thinking, what's he up to? Well, I plan to do this um, year group by year group as an assembly in your normal assembly slot. But Mr. Hartshorn has uh, managed to trump me and is doing the assemblies for a higher purpose. So I thought I won't, won't let that spoil the party. I'll do it like that for a run. And you'll find out why later. Now the topic for the assembly this week was that of men's health. And I'm here to kick off the November campaign this year, which as many of you may remember, was a superb success last year. And I greatly enjoyed raising some money. I didn't particularly enjoy having a hairy lip. And uh, I have noticed that I think, I stand to be corrected, I'm the only male member of staff who doesn't actually have a hairy face. So they've already got a head start on the moustache anyway. So I've decided I'll do something else and I'll tell you about that at the end of the assembly. But yeah, this camera malarkey gives you a sore arm. So it's raining now. And I'm going up it, I'll walk. So we're uh, here to talk about men's health issues and the issues surrounding those. Now the November campaign focuses mainly on the mental health, the rate of suicide amongst men, on testicular cancer, on prostate cancer. Now the two cancers I've just mentioned have touched my lives recently, my life, sorry. Uh, a good friend of mine I went to school with, he was a good lad, a good man, and he developed testicular cancer. And uh, he had a young family, my age obviously he went to school with me, and slowly, over four years, he died of a cancer they couldn't stop. And that started in his testicles. And it's often something that we say with a snigger or find slightly embarrassing until it touches your life and you realize it's very serious. I think women's health has made some superb, very successful strides in campaigns to do with cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. And I'd hope that men, that was not quite steep now, I'll run a bit. Men would also be able to take those same steps but it starts with conversations it starts with talking it starts with being confident and not ashamed and uh, the other cancer prostate cancer well my father is currently fighting prostate cancer so you can see how close these things can get to you and perhaps some of you know somebody who has suffered with these cancers and uh, the mental health issue Oh, thankfully, I don't know anybody who's taken their life, not personally, oh, it's quite steep again, <laughs> uh, but it does affect men, men in their 40s and 50s are the highest suicide risk group of all, hello of course it affects men, teenagers and boys and women of course of all ages, but men are more likely to take their own life to decide that the only way is the final way and to stop their life but it can't be the case and I don't want it to be the case I don't ever want to know somebody who's taken their life so here we are now you can raise money many different ways many different ways it's raining now as well look at this chucking it down you can raise money in many different ways through growing a having a hairy face as I said before or running that's where I come in I've been running lately and really enjoyed it the swap hands and arms aching again really enjoying it and I've decided to run a half marathon and I did have a look for half marathon events on the November campaign and they're all booked up 
but there was one option that of a virtual half marathon so you find the distance run it log it on your GPS phone data or wristwatch whatever you're using and then you can upload that your Strava file so you've covered the distance and I've decided that's what I'll do hence the running so I uh, on a Sunday morning I'm going to get on the train in Welshpool five past nine five pounds sixty done my research and get off in Newtown and run back to Welshpool railway station along the old Montgomery Canal picturesque scenic quiet flat unlike where I am now to walk again so one of the things you can do is move and exercise and that's something I would encourage all of you to do move and exercise beneficial to your health reduces your risk of cancer helps control your weight the list is enormous the reasons to do exercise and there are many types you don't have to go out running in a ridiculous brightly coloured outfit in the rainy day in Wales so let's get this campaign going let's raise some money let's confidently talk about the issues I've addressed already let's be sure that we make a difference I urge you to please over this month come and find me and tell me what you're doing create a page on the website I try and get Satchel to to send a link out to everybody it's optional but it makes a difference and I was so pleased last year to see some of the pupils raise such a large amount of money and be confident in talking about the issues that this campaign this charity month addresses and I and I wish you the best of luck with that and I sincerely hope that the things I've discussed don't touch your life the illnesses suicide testicular cancer prostate cancer so come on you lot let's do it downhill now that's better